Hi, I'm Tom from LSI Garage. Today we have a 2016 Ford F-250 in here with the 6.7 Power Stroke. I'll be showing you how to do an oil change on it. We've got all of our oil here, filter, filter wrench, and we have a 16 millimeter socket, and that's all it takes. And we'll give you a quick video on how to do this. Okay, we're gonna get the oil out of this truck right now. 16 millimeter, get it broke loose. There we go. We'll let her drain for a couple minutes and we'll get right back with you. Okay, we're ready to go back in with the drain plug. Be sure to check, and make sure that your O-ring's still in place or if it has a copper gasket, make sure it's there before you put it back in place here so we don't have any future leaks. Okay, get the oil filter off real quick and let it drain and get the new filter ready to go on. When you take your old filter off, make sure that the seal in the top of the filter comes off the housing and it doesn't get stuck like this one here just did. Because if you leave that on and you put another one on it, you'll have a, you'll have a big mess. Okay, we gotta get the new filter ready to go on. I recommend on a filter that goes on like this one to top it off with clean oil before you put it on. New filter up in place. Hand tighten it. And then get about as tight as you can with your hands. If you don't feel like you got a good enough grip on it because it's oily. You can always put another little half turn on it with your wrench. Wipe everything off so it's clean. You can tell if you have any leak. Okay, we're gonna get out from underneath here and let the truck down and top it off with oil. Okay, we're gonna top off our oil here got all the oil jugs laid out. This was going to take probably about 13 quarts. Always check your owner's manual to make sure you're using the right grade of oil. There's winter and summer oils available for if you're running extremely cold climate or extremely hot climate all the time. They give you different grades to use. Okay, get one more quart and you'll have it filled up. Okay. Oil cap pack on it. Now we'll go in and start the truck, check for oil pressure, and look underneath it and check it for leaks. Okay, we're gonna let it run for a minute. Get out and check, make sure there's no leaks underneath. Everything looks good underneath. Filter area is dry, the transmission area, and the oil filter area is dry. Thank you very much for watching.